Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm a Procon Technical Consultant. So I will be showing you how to do a round trip design in Procon Sumo using the base and rectangular column design links in Sumo. I will be showing you how to add design groups, adding fittings and rectangular columns to those design groups that you created and then do a round trip design with these bases and rectangular column design links. Here, I have created a small model with some loads already added to it. So, before I can export anything with design links, I first need to have analysis results. So, I'll just analyze my model. After running the analysis, I can now go to the design links workspace. In the bottom panel, you can see that there is a basis tab as well as a rectangular columns tab. So let's say I want to export these three columns and their bases with design links. So what I want to do first is create my design groups. You can have as many design groups as you would like to. I can also rename them and add notes to groups. So I'll just create a design group for my bases and one for my rectangular columns as well. Okay, so now I'm done creating my design groups. But these design groups are still empty. So clicking on design will just give me an error message that the design group is empty. So to add elements to design groups, I select the elements that I want to be part of the group. I can either select them by drawing a block around them or holding in the control on my keyboard. And then you can see in the properties panel that there is a section for design groups. And in the drop down, you can see the available design groups that I can add those selected elements to. So I'll just add the bases to my design group. I will now do the same for my rectangular columns. When my design groups are no longer empty, I can export my groups with design links. To do this, I click on design. I will first do this for concrete bases. So here you can select the load cases and combinations that you would like to design for, as well as the code and then make changes to any other factors. This can also be done once in the base module. To open the base module, I just click on OK. Now in the base module, you can see that all my Sumo data has been imported. I'm now going to just click on optimize and you can see that the base size changes to 1.3 by 1.1 meters. After saving and closing and going back to Sumo, you can see in the properties of the bases that the sizes of my bases in Sumo has automatically updated to that of the design links file. Just to illustrate once again, I will do this for the rectangular columns as well. So first, I will select my rectangular columns and then add them to, the, to a design group. I now click on design in the bottom panel to go to my rectangular columns module. So in the module, I'm going to change my column sizes from 250 by 250 to 300 by 500. And then I can save and close my file. Back in Sumo, I'm now getting a message saying that. Do you want to search the section database for a section matching the design file dimension? And I'll just say yes. So now it's looking through the section database and it tells me that the 300 by 500 was found. And do I want to add it to the model? And again, I'll just say yes. And in the model, you can see that my column sizes have also been updated. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure you follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.